Greetings! Last time we learned about selection and how computers can test data you've given it against a something for true or false, and if it's true, then it will run. This time we're going to learn about loops. Loops let the computer repeat the same thing over and over again. So they're useful because they save you time and energy and boredom doing the same thing over and over again. I've made a nice little app here. What I want repeated is to go here. The number of times I want to repeat it is to go in this box here. There's a go button here. When I push that button, there should be a nice long list of what I want repeated, the number of times I want repeated down here. So that is the interface. Interface is easy. So I go to the blocks and see how we do it. The first thing to do in this program is push the button. Because without the button being pushed, nothing is going to happen. So go to a when loop click and something's going to happen then. The first loop in here we can see is a for loop. There are lots of loops computers have, but today I'm going to show you a for loop. In fact, I'm going to show you a for loop in two different ways. But the first way is this one. So for each number, here we are. So whatever's in here, it will now do five times. How do I know it's five? Because here it says we're going to start at one, we're going to increase by one, and we're going to go to five. So to go around once, twice, three, four, five, it will stop because it's a five. So first things first, I don't want to repeat five times. I want to repeat the number of times I typed in this box. This box is called RPTS, or repeats with no vowels. So I'll take five out of there, put five in the bin, and I'll go repeats and text. I want to get the text on repeats. Where's it gone? Here it is. Repeats.txt. It will now go around that many times and it will go up by one. So we're guaranteed to get to that number. Now, in the answer box, the repeat label, I want to make this appear. So set repeat label.txt2. Now, in a loop, there are a few problems. We're just saying, okay, make it appear here and here and here. So let's repeat the same thing on top of itself, which we don't want it to do. Don't understand? Don't worry, I'm going to go through this slowly now, so hopefully by the end you will. For a start, go to text. And I want to join three pieces of text. Now I'm sure you're thinking, whoa, whoa, Mr. M, there are only two pieces of text here, two holes of text here. Well, adding a new one's easy. Click on the blue dot here, like last time, and add a third string onto here. Now I want to add a new piece of text each time to the last one. So firstly, I want to add whatever's in this text here already. So I want to start with whatever is in the repeat label text, whatever is in this box here already, I want that to still be there. Then, I want to make a new line. I need to go down to the next line. I don't want it appearing repeated, 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 out that way. I want it going down. So, we have to make a new line. Now, if you get a text, you won't see a sign here for a new line. See one? I don't. But there is an easy way of doing it. Take this here, an empty text box, and type in backslash, that's the one on the bottom left hand key in the corner of your keyboard, N. And that will make a new line. Then we want to put in the text we typed in our box. So this box is called text. So whatever we typed, I want to get text from that box. So text.text, .text, here we are, and that's in there, and there we are. That will now loop round so many times and show us. So let's see if this works. How do we do that? Go to build, go to save APK to my computer. And hopefully, there we are, it will now save into there. The emulator is still sitting here and running, 
So as soon as I get a box saying it's downloaded, I'll know to ignore it and upload it to here. So it's going to go through now. Next time around, we're going to show you how to make it loop and do maths at the same time, which I think is even cooler. But that will come later. Okay, I think it should be there by now. Let's just see quickly. Here we are. Loops demo vid. And install APK. Give it a moment and hopefully APK installed. Oh, look, there it is already for us. Ready and waiting. So, this box here. Now, for some reason, the computer seems to like making me use its keyboard on this mobile phone. I don't know why, but never mind. Mr. M. Rocks. Mr. M. Rocks. And I want the computer to say this. I'm going to tell it to say this 15 times. So come in here, type in 15. And now, what is going to happen? Press go and hopefully, here we are, Mr. M rocks, Mr. M rocks, Mr. M rocks, 15 Mr. M boxes are all sitting there. There we are, that is a very, very simple loop. Okay, so that was a simple loop, but now I want to do a slightly more advanced loop. Loops can handle quite a lot of maths, so I want to try and show you how that is possible. Say I wanted to change my program around totally. Say I don't need the number of repeats, I just want a number to appear. I type a number in there, say 17, and press go, and it then starts here from 100, and then goes 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, down to 117. I put 17 in there. How would I do that? This is going to be very useful for our next lesson, so you need to remember this stuff. It's very, very simple. It only takes minor changes from what we've already done. So for a start, take text.text .text and bin it. Don't need it, don't want it. Bye-bye, you're out of there. Now, we need to do some math, as Americans might say. So we go to plus, because we need to add the number, the current number, onto 100. So for a starter, we need 100. Where do I get 100 from? Easy, go to the top. Blue box with zero in, put it in there, and we type 100. The next part of this is we say, OK, I want to add it, the number going up by one each time. The loop goes up by one each time. Wouldn't it be nice if we could use the number from that? But wait, we can! Yes! Up here, number. Put your mouse over number, and it will give you the number it's currently on, from 1 to whatever number we typed in. If you take get number, and put it in there, suddenly now, it's there and waiting. So now, it will add 100 to the current number of the loop. Okay? So it will go around printing that number and doing maths again and again and again and again which is something we're going to do in class a lot in the next lesson. So, let's try this out. First, build, save APK to your computer, or my computer. Just building it as we speak here and now. Loops are very useful for this, because it can do thousands of sums in a matter of microseconds. Before computers could do this, it would take people weeks to do this number of sums accurately. The computer can do it flawlessly in a number of seconds. So the file is now on my computer, so I cancel that, go back to here, and I find it. Here we are, loops demo video second, the updated version, and install it. The emulator is still sitting here, and the APK is now installed. So if I go in there, Loops demo video, click on it, and then here I type in, I delete this first, this pointless text I put in there, and I type in here 17 and press go. Fingers crossed, it will now go down to 
117. Because I typed in 17. So why did that happen? Well, at the start, in here, I typed in 17 in number of repeats. And pressed go. When I push go, it said start from 1 and go up to 17. The number I just typed in. It then went round and printed the last piece of text, so 101, 102, 103, a new line, and then added 100 to the current loop. There are 17 loops, so thus we got to 117 very simply in a matter of milliseconds. I hope that has cleared loops up for you, and you're now prepared for this lesson. Best of British luck to you.